Hey guys, welcome back to Susie on the Farm. I'm having a date day with my sweetie here. Say hey. And um, I'm also in the middle of moving my studio, so there's no way I was gonna be able to do an upcycle video for you guys for Wednesday. So I thought that I'd take you guys on a little shopping trip. We have just pulled up here at the, what is this place called? Picker's Choice Antique Mall in Arab, Alabama. And then we gotta go to Gunnersville. There may be somewhere we stop there too. Um, but I thought I'd take you guys on a little shopping trip. And if I get anything, I'll show you what I have purchased too. And then we'll get back to doing upcycles as soon as I get my studio organized. So thanks for coming along. As you can see, this was a super nasty day and I have been to this place a couple of times and have yet to make it through the entire store. So I decided to start upstairs this time. I think there's three levels all together and I never seem to get very far just trying to do downstairs. So I started upstairs here. Um, first thing I found was a bunch of these uh, Ray Dunn and they had a great price on them. They were only $4 and typically I sell these from 12 to 14. Um, however, I just didn't like the saying on many of these so I didn't pick any of these up. obsessed with blue and white lately so it always catches my eye and this was a beautiful little teapot for $18 with the blue and white. The floral on this one reminds me of the floral in the new fairy tale florals transfer pack. And then look at these Tupperware canisters. They're vintage and their price reflects it. Um, $45 for that canister set but love those colors. cookie molds. I have a few of these longer burger ones and the ones they have here um, even have the box with them. Soup. I never heard of that one. These are the longer burgers in the back here. Let's see what they have on priced at. Six dollars. Um, I think I'll probably price them around nine or so. And look at these geese. They're resin, I thought they were brass, but they're resin, $18. And they have, no, they're, yeah, they're definitely resin, made to look like wood. They have them labeled as a duck, but I'm pretty sure those are geese or swans. What do you guys think those are? And then they have quite a collection of horses here, and these caught my eye. They are resin, and they have a very interesting paint job on them. Looks like they're 12, marked down from 18. Must have been there a little while. I don't know about those, so I'm gonna leave those here for avid horse collectors. I'm always looking for a good price on any J-Dot or brass, because those have gotten really expensive. $10 for this cute little measuring cup. When I first spotted this, I thought that it was brass, but it looks like it is gold painted ceramic, which nothing wrong with that. I paint ceramic gold all the time and those have a really good paint job. 
This is a good price on these blue ball jars, $6. I typically sell them from 12 to 14. If I didn't have a half a dozen of them, I probably would have picked those up. Look at this little vintage doll. Um, $21.95 looks like with the original price, $19.48. That's really old. Oh, and look at this little weenie dog. He's definitely been painted. I don't hate the paint job, but I'm gonna put him here for a Dotson lover. Here's a vintage cedar chest for 50, and I love that afghan there. An antique butter churn for 30. As a reseller, it's kind of hard for me to buy stuff at antique malls because obviously these people are resellers too. But um, I still love looking at how everything is displayed and priced and sometimes you can find a really good deal. I don't know about this topiary dog. It's interesting for $30. some longer burger baskets. I think I sold all of mine. These are about the same price that I would sell them at, but these are cute. I love the round baskets. They're my favorite. This little picture is so cute for fall. Pretty sure that it is Teleflora. I just love that green color. And this, I wish I would have picked this up. This was super heavy, um, like a, I don't know, I guess it's a lamp, um, but that base was a heavy metal, which is that? $5, yeah, I should have got that. That'd be so cute, styled up for Christmas. Here's a little brass one for $20. I have one identical to that, but $20 is a bit out of my price range and some Vera Bradley bags. I used to have several of these. I wish I knew what I did with them. I probably donated them. I love that pattern. I had a big, huge diaper bag that big with that pattern on it. And this sign, we have a boat at Gunnersville. Um, my husband called me over there. Look at that. It's a metal sign, but $120, it wasn't that big. And uh, the thing that caught my eye in this little booth was these copper watering cans with the patina. I don't know that it's real copper. I think it's a patina, a fake patina, but it looks really great. And there were two of them, this smaller one and this larger one over here. just like this except for mine got a little chip in it so I let mom take it home that one's a good price at six dollars it's a cut glass here's a booth that has skinny syrups and they are selling them for only $7.50 not sure how they're doing that I think the retail price on them is at least eight and I found this carved wood sign. I thought it was so cute. And there's where we are now. There's where our boat is. And we live between Coleman and um, Birmingham there. And the store is also in that same area. This booth here had a mixture of wholesale items um, and some vintage finds. I love those busts there. I need to get me some more of those. 
lot of pretty stuff here, but it was, you know, up there in the price range too, of course. A lot of this stuff reminded me of antique farmhouse items. There is a vintage scale over here. I mean, this was an antique scale actually. 65, but it's so pretty. I love the aged patina on it. Here is a green chicken on a nest. Let's see how much it is. Seven dollars. That's a pretty good price. And I do not have one of these. I don't see any chips on it anywhere. These are cast iron. Um, I guess they're door stops, but they've been painted, I think, with milk paint, so I like the aged look of it. I was drawn to this massive rolling pin. This thing was giant. $25. So cool. They had quite a few rolling pins. Oh, and there is another chicken on a nest. Exactly $17.95. See how you can get a good deal? One was seven, one was $10 more which is probably what I'll sell it. Funny thing about this sign, Heath brought it to me and he said, did you make this? Because he's seen those birds from the Brocon transfer so much. I love seeing IOD in these booths for, you know, that these people are upcycling items. Look at the gorgeous patina on this copper pot. Solid copper and it whistles. Look at that. That's that age look we all try to replicate. More longer burger baskets. Let's see what these are priced at. Yep, about what I would. That one's got some damage on it. That's a nice one. Let's see, 1995. And here's a brass eagle. Let's see. 1995. And here is a stamp rolling pin. The mercantile stamp on that grain sack stripe and also there is um, I think this is the cow from the village market mold so I didn't get a lot because as you can see I have plenty of stuff I got some really really vintagey looking things but nothing that I had to upcycle um, first of all um, I have a ton of rolling pins, um, but this one was just so cute. Let me go get that receipt because I don't remember what I paid for this stuff. Hold on. Okay, I paid $4 for this little rolling pin. I just like the shapes of it and the little worn handles. Probably not going to do anything to it. It's in good shape. I got these green salt and pepper shakers. They both have their uh, bottoms, and there's a little chip or crack in this one, um, but it's okay. Salt and pepper, they were $2. I thought they looked like little vintage, um, they're ceramic, but I thought they looked like little vintage Tupperware. I thought those would be cute. I got these um, wooden shoes. I did pay $6 for these, but I don't have an, any of these, and I have been unable to find any. I've got lots of wooden shoe forms, but... Um, I'm not going to do anything to these. I might do a, a little darker stain on them, clean them up, and they'll go cute in a vignette. I also got a hen on the nest because I don't have one of these either. It's a green one. 
I paid $7.50 for it. That'll easily sell for $14 or so. Um, oh, this big Atlas jar. I love these clear jars and I have a plan for storing things like blocks and, you know, stuff that I want to see where they are, um, wood pieces in my studio. So I've been picking up a few of these glass containers for that. It was only $2. Um, metal container. This will probably get an upcycle, maybe just a transfer on it. But these are great for storing floral in, displaying floral in. So I picked this one up for $2, this metal container. These brass bells, I did pay up for them. Um, two brass bells, I think I paid six and seven. I'm not gonna sell these. These are on my own personal collection because I love bells and especially brass bells at Christmas, especially. And lastly, I got Heath a, well, Heath picked out a John Deere cap for $2. So that is all I got. I hope y'all have enjoyed today's shopping trip and I'll probably be back Friday with another video. Thanks for watching.